Brad Oliver, you're from Redhead Equipment here in Saskatoon, and you guys are a Saskatchewan Mac dealer. Correct. And behind us is one of your prime examples from your lot, and this truck and others like it are going to be on display at Ag and Motion Farm Show next week. But this week we have this truck all to ourselves for a road test. Tell me about this truck and why you think this truck will appeal to farmers. Great. So this is a 2018 model, and Mac builds the engine. We build the transmission. In this particular case, we're honing in on the M-Drive transmission. So the M-Drive transmission is an automated manual transmission, AMT. The difference between that and an automatic transmission is this actually still has a clutch plate in it. So it's a dedicated transmission that was built by Mac to shift like a standard transmission, but with no clutch needed or clutch pedal movement needed, I guess, right? So no third pedal. So from a safety standpoint, the driver now is not worrying about shifting. He's actually standing and driving the truck. In most cases, because this is an automatic or electronically controlled transmission, in 75, 80%, maybe 90% of the cases, the transmission is gonna do all the work. In those last 10 to 15% of the times, you still have, as a driver, full control over that transmission. So you can shift that transmission at any given time. That's one, one thing these drivers have to think. So it's a little bit of a mind shift from drivers that have been used to 18 speeds or 13 speeds to letting the transmission in the truck do its work. So you've got a lot more safety, you've got more a lot uh, better fuel economy, and as well as productivity as well. So Mac builds the engine, so this is an MP8, 415 horsepower. This engine can still go up to 505 horsepower. In this particular case, 415 is more than, more than enough horsepower in here. And we're also finding in the farming community now, because of the automated manual transmission and the not the need to shift, the, uh, the drivers are a lot of women and um, uh, younger people that are coming into the farming community as well. And not practiced in shifting a 13 or an 18, which does Correct. require a it, few road miles to get a real good grasp. Absolutely, of. yes. And especially in, a, in tight corners and in, in uh, working in, in around different equipment, instead of worrying what gear you're on, you're actually looking around you to see where that piece of equipment or that person is so that it's a lot safer on the farm as well. And I like the new Anthem yeah. model, which Matt came out with not too long ago, which has a, a set back front axle. This one has a set forward. Tell me about right. the advantage So there. the set forward axle is it gives you a little bit more ground clearance. And from the farming community, also we also put 24-5 rubber on this. So you've got a little bit more clearance. And because you're in and out of fields all the time, uh, on road, they're just as um, efficient. And with the 24-5, you're supposed to get a little bit more uh, wear of it as, as well. Well, as you can tell by looking around, it has poured buckets here. And unfortunately, where we left the truck last night after our road test day, we needed help getting it out. Uh, the ground is just saturated here, but one thing we learned from that experience was those mud guards on the drivers work really, really well. The bottom of that box is totally clean. So for a farm truck, that's a pretty cool advantage. But this was my first experience with Max M Drive transmission, and that's really why we wanted to drive this truck. The M Drive, uh, Mac calls it the manual automatic transmission. It has both modes. You can drive it like your regular car in, uh, in automatic, or you can switch on the go into manual and downshift or upshift. And you don't have to worry about trying to shift into a gear that the truck can't handle because it won't let you if that's not an available shift. In fact, on the LCD screen on the dashboard, you'll see arrows. It'll tell you what gear you're in, and you'll see arrows indicating that there's an available upshift or downshift. Now the nice thing about the M drive is it's a transmission with a clutch that allows you to ease that truck forward or back, which has been a problem with auto shift transmissions in heavy trucks in the past. Either you were moving or you weren't, and you would the truck would jerk and you'd try and do a subtle movement and you'd look like a rank amateur, but that doesn't happen in the M drive. We've tried it, it works really nice, you can smooth it, you can feather it back and forth. Uh, it also has the hill assist feature, so if you stop this truck on an upgrade, it will automatically, the brakes, the service brakes will come on and hold that truck in position until it, indi- it, it uh, senses throttle and it allows the truck to move forward so you're not rolling back 
into traffic if you're on a, on a public road or you're trying to keep going forward. That's a really nice feature. Uh, the M drive also doesn't necessarily start you off in first gear. The sensors on the airbags on the, on the suspension on the drivers tell the computer whether you're loaded or not and if you're loaded how heavy you are. So the M drive will compensate or adjust to those conditions and start you off in up to fourth gear if you're empty on, a, on an even dry surface and then shift say up to from fourth to seventh and ninth and then and then up to twelfth. So it's a really nice transmission. It, it does a lot. I've liked it driving it and I think uh, it would be an excellent uh, kind of transmission to consider for those people on the farm who get tasked in the fall with servicing the combine in a grain truck but just don't have that everyday experience that you really need to get used to driving a manual 13 speed or 18 speed in a truck of this size. So that allows uh, drivers with minimal experience to do really well and avoid damaging the drive line on a heavy truck like this when you're loaded in, in tough terrain conditions. And of course, uh, the interaxle and diff lock got us out with, with a little bit of help from a zoom boom, got us out. Overall, our driving impressions of this truck, we liked it. Nice truck, like the M drive. Um, that's been our road test review of Max uh, truck here. Hope you thought it was informative and hope uh, you got some good information out of it. Thanks for watching.